Hello guys, so I'm right away going to start showing you the products I got on my BoxyCharm. The first one is this primer by Cover FX. This is a blurring primer and I think this one definitely blurs the skin just as it claims to do. Um, then I'm trying the Physicians Formula new foundation, the Healthy Foundation in the tone DW2. Um, this was my third time using this foundation. <laughs> I think it uh, performs pretty well. Um, I just really didn't know anything or didn't hear anything about the smell. I do not like the smell of the foundation. I haven't heard anyone mentioning that. Um, but it's, it goes away um, a little bit later, unlike the MAC foundation that I really not, don't wear at all because of that. But this one performs pretty decent. As you can see, it's pretty, I would say, medium to full coverage, and you can definitely build it up. Thing is, for me, uh, with my oily skin, I feel like after six hours of wear getting to eight hours is not that good um but you know i think for someone with not so oily skin will probably work well the finish is really nice here i'm just using my cover uh my la girl pro conceal this is in the color pure beige and this is an you know oldie but but goodie product that i think any everyone have tried already probably and if not then you need to try it okay this is my Laura Mercier uh, setting powder. This is uh, new to me, but I have been using it for over a month now. I think it's okay powder. I mean, I've heard so many things about it. I thought it was amazing, but I just think it's, it's a decent powder. It's an okay powder. Um, under my eyes, I don't love it that much. I don't think it really brightens up my under eyes so much, but you know, but it does the job. Here, I'm just doing my brows, and I wanted to show you how I do my brows since, you know, my I don't really need to do that much, but I am still in love with this e.l.f. Um, brow pencil, and this one is in the color dark brown. It's a pretty good pencil. Um, it has it's like a waxy pencil, so for me it works perfectly because I don't need to set my my eyebrows after that. And then now we're moving to brows. I'm using this um, Wet and Wild. Um, eyeshadow palette and this one is in the color not a basic pitch i am in love with this little eyeshadow palettes that Wet n wild has come out with i think they're a remake of other eyeshadow palettes they had this one specifically i think is a new color but it's really nice this is the color pop um golden state of mine eyeshadow palette i only use that color um there is like a peachy tone it's called unsupervised this is the first time i used it i received it um in my boxy charm I, I actually exchanged it uh, from a boxy charm product that i received but i love it okay it's it's really really nice eyeshadow palette especially it's very different from what i already own um then i'm just doing some finishing touches to my eyeshadows with some other wet and wild eyeshadows um and then here i'm going in with a new product that i'm trying as well and this is the wet and wild baked blush in the color um what is it don't flutter yourself it's really nice as a highlight for me um now i'm just trying these pulley that i received from my boxy charm from the aesthetica or is aesthetica brand um and here i'm doing my eyeliner with also another of the eye the brushes that we got in this boxy charm um this brush specifically is really really nice for the eyeliner it works super super well then here i am using my pure cosmetics um like sculpture palette this one i think is a nice palette the colors are very dark and the two um sculpting colors and then the highlights i thought they weren't gonna work on me but they actually work pretty well um it is now my favorite tone of highlight because it's a little bit too light for my liking but it does work pretty well especially in the tip of the nose i think it does a really nice job um so i used i used for the um dark powder to sculpt my cheekbones the um another aesthetic brush that i got um now I'm applying my blush, which is also a new blush from Wet n Wild. This is the Dare to Soar um, tone, and it's super, super nice. I think, I think it's so flattering. It reminds me a lot of a MAC uh, blush that I have and I love as well. Uh, and now, just to finish the look, I'm applying my um, Beauty Creations lip color in the color Kiss Me. This is like a matte 
lip gloss so it doesn't really dry out completely but it's really nice i hope you enjoy the look guys and i hope to see you back on my channel very very soon love you bye